going to talk about addition. Okay, what is the spelling of addition? So we have A D D I T I O N. Okay, now let's talk about the meaning and the parts of addition. Okay, now what is the meaning of addition? So we have addition means putting two or more numbers together. Alright, now in addition, they have their own part. So let's see it. So now we have an example of 56 plus 14 equals 17. Now let's talk about their parts. First one is addends. These two numbers, 56 and 14, we call that one addends. Now, how about the symbol? The symbol is what we call plus. Another symbol is what we call equal to or equals. And the answer, we call this one as sum or total. Now, let's talk about the parts of an addition. Some books, they use addition sentence or addition equation. They're all the same. First one is addends. Addends means the two numbers to be added or combined together. Next one is plus. Plus means a sign for addition. So this is what we're using. This is the symbol that we are using for adding numbers. And lastly, the answer for addition is what we call sum or total. Which means an answer for addition. Now, addition have their own properties. So let's talk about the properties of addition. So now we have three properties in addition. The first one is what we call commutative property. Commutative property means changing position. So it will be like this. A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, this property means that even you change their position, the answer will be the same. So, even we change the position of the numerals or number, the answer are still the same, which is 11. Next one. This property is what we call associative property. Associative property means changing group. So, if commutative property means changing position, associative property means changing group. Okay, look like this. So, A plus Parenthesis B plus C, close parenthesis. So even you change their position, you will come up or you will get the same answer. Group, it doesn't matter. So even you change the group of the numerals or number, the answer are still the same, which is 12. And lastly, we have number three. In number three, we call this one identity property or adding by zero. Okay, identity property or adding by zero means any numeral that add to zero, the answer is the numeral. Numeral. 
or any number that adds to zero, the answer is the number. So, numeral and number are the same. We commonly use the word number. Okay, so it looks like this. A plus zero equals A, or 48,652 plus zero equals 48,652. Let's do some exercises. Now, I want you to post this video and try to identify the property of addition. And I will give the answer. Okay, now let's try to do it. So we have here, open parenthesis 3 plus 4, close parenthesis, plus 5, equals 3 plus, open parenthesis, 4 plus 5, close parenthesis. What property of addition is this? The answer is associative property. So it means changing group. Correct. How about number two? In number two, we have 62,856 plus zero equals 62,856. What property of addition is this? The answer is identity property. Correct. And lastly, 97 plus 85 equals 85 plus 97. What property of addition is this? The answer is commutative property. Correct. So try other practices or exercises so you can master or you will identify more the different kinds of properties in addition. Thanks for watching!